How y'all doing? This is Sergeant Peoples, aka Peep This. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be a little training session on first how to shoot Purple K on a Rosenbauer um, 6x6 Panther. Alright, so we're going to start off in the cab and then we're going to go through that procedure, walking it through. And after that, we're going to show you guys how to do the blowdown after you shoot Purple K. So, first step. The scenario is you're on an FAA or actual call, whatever the reason may be, and you have to shoot Purple K. So if you shoot Purple K on scene and use your bumper turret, right, which is right here. So you're going to get the nozzle out, of course. You're going to flip your Purple K button, toggle switch under here, flip that up. Once you flip that up, you're going to leave it up, of course, flip it up. And you come back to your joystick on your um on your um bumper to it, and you're gonna hit this button right here. You're gonna hold it down, you're gonna press and hold to shoot purple K. It's not just a tap, it's a press and hold. Alright? So press and hold that, dry chemical will come out. Alright, now if you need to inject the water stream with dry chemical, you're gonna go ahead and turn your um pump on, and then you're gonna um squeeze the trigger and your dry powder at the same time and it should turn the stream purple. All right, you're gonna hold both of them. That's how you extend your range if it's windy or whatnot. Okay. Also, same thing for the for the um the roof turret. Same process. You got to flip the on um, the toggle switch on the dash. Use your roof turret. Same process. If you just want just powder, you're gonna hold down this button and fire it from the roof turret. All right. Again, if you need water, turn on your pump. Squeeze your trigger and hold down your button at the same time. You extend your range on your um on your um, purple K into the stream. All right. So so that will conclude on of course shutdown procedures. I won't conclude it yet. Shutdown procedures, of course, that release the button, turn off your pump if your pump is on, and then turn off your toggle switch on your on your dash. All right. And then that will be you will be done. So after that, after the call is over and the fire is out, you have to do a blowdown procedure. No matter um, if you're using your bumper turret or if you use your roof turret or using your hand line, whichever. If you ever activate this system and shoot purple K, you always, always have to do the blowdown procedure immediately. Do not go back to the station and say, "Oh, I'll wait until tomorrow." And let the other guys next shift to do it. If you shoot it, you need to blow it down because if you do not, if you do not blow it down, it will clog the system. And then say the next day they get a call, and the system is clogged. You don't know because you didn't blow it down. They get a call. They need to use um, purple K. They can't use it now, or you're, they're out of purple K. They're out of the outer nitrogen. So it's important for you, um, as the driver of the truck. If you use it, then you need to do the blowdown or change out the bottle and to um, replenish the purple K if need be. So next step is going to be how to do the blowdown procedure. All right. So you've shot your purple K. So like I said, you need to come blow it down. So you need to come down to the drill yard here, get the key either from 33s or whatever station has a key to it or maybe training to let you in. When you get down here on the drill yard, you want to check the wind slot. You want to see what direction the wind is blowing in. Two blow down places we got you want to pull very close to this fence right here but if the wind is blowing towards you as you're facing the fence then you probably want to go down here to the end in the woods down there by that that um the fuselage to that plane down there in the corner in the woods right there so you know just check your wind direction all right so it's not gonna it's not gonna shoot out too much when you're doing the blow down so it, 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 it's, it's not that much at all so so whatever location you choose and you get ready first, and we'll go through the first step of what you need to do. All right, to start your blowdown procedure, you're down here at the drill yard. Now you need to come to your tank. All right, the first thing you're gonna do, your charge valve up here, all right? Your charge valve says normally open, all right? So it's normally open. So you're gonna pull the pin, and then you're gonna turn it off. All right, there's an on and off right here on the lever. Turn it to off, all right? Now that's off. All right, the next step, your dry chemical valve. It's also normally open. You're gonna pull the pin and you're gonna turn it to off. All right, that's off. Now the next step is your purge valve. It's normally closed. All right, so you need to purge the system. So you're gonna turn it to on. All right, the on and off right here shows you the direction you need to turn it. So now it's on. So your char charge valve, 
which is normally open, is now closed. Your dry chemical valve, which is normally open, is now closed. Your purge valve, which is normally closed, is now open. All right? So now, at this point, when you do that, you're going to go into the side of the cab. So this all depends on which one you shot first. Okay? If you shot your... Um, if you shot your uh, purple K out of your bumper turret, then the bumper turret is gonna be the first one that you blow down, all right? So if you shot your purple K out of your roof turret, your roof turret will be the first one you have to blow down. If some kind of way you pulled your line and they shot purple K out your line, you have to pull this line first and then do your blow down first before you do the bumper or the roof. Yes, you have to blow down all three. No matter which one you use, you have to blow down all three, your roof turret, your bumper turret, and your hand line. All right, always, no matter if you just, but it just depends, the order goes, whichever one you use first, that's the one you start with. All right, so now that I got all my levers in the correct position, I'm gonna go up in the cab again, and we're gonna show you from, from doing it from the bumper, then the roof, then the hand line. All right. all right, so we got all our levers straight, so now we're back in the cab. So we're gonna start off with the bumper turret. We're gonna get it out. All right, it's ready to be blowed down. First thing, flip the toggle switch on the dash. Flip it up, boom, it's flipped. Now, you're gonna hold down this button for uh, five to 10 seconds, all right? So you're gonna be mashing. One, two, three, four, five, release. Hold it again, one, two, three, four, five, release. Uh, you're gonna do that two to three times. You'll see when it's clear. If you just hold it down, it's clear. It's nothing blowing out. Then that one is finished. All right. So if that one's finished, now I can turn this my bumper turret off. It's blown down. Now I'm gonna start with my my roof turret. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get it um, in the out the into the ready position. My switch is already on my on my dad. My purple case switch is already toggled. I'm gonna go down and do the same thing here. Five to ten seconds. Hold it down. One, two, three, four, five. You know, all right, release it. Again, one, two, three, four, five, release. Again, one, two, three, four, five, all right? Third time. All right, it just depends how much you shoot. It depends why you have to do it two or three times, but you will see when it's clear, all right? You will see when it's clear, all right? So after that, now you can go ahead and turn this switch off again and park your, and park your, um, your turret and go head back outside and now we have to do the um, hand line all right let's go back outside do the hand line all right so the hand line is the last one we got to do right in order to do the hand line you have to pull this hand line all the way out this is the hardest part of this process is pulling this out and putting it back in which is not hard at all so you got to pull your hand line all the way out all right i'm not going to do it for training purposes right now but just don't you got to pull it all the way out i right, need you to come over here so when you pull the line all the way out what you're going to do is you got this purple K button. You don't just mash it. You got to hold it down for at least like two or three seconds. This red light right here will turn green. Once you know this is a solid green, the system is not on. After this is solid green, then you're going to hold it down, hit this right here, and it'll turn green, and your hose reel is on. All right? Now that both buttons are green right here, you can go to the end of your hand line and just pull the powder, which is this one right here. This is what you're blowing down. We shot purple cake. We didn't shoot water and foam. We shot dry powder. So we're going to pull this in five to ten second um, bursts, all right, until it's clear. All right, and make sure you hold it. It does have a little pressure on it. Five to ten second bursts again. Once nothing's coming out and it's blowed down, close it down, and you can uh, rewind your hose reel and put your hose back up. All right. Then you can come over here and turn off your hose reel and turn off your purple K. Once it's red and no lights, you're good to go. All right? So now, everything has been blowed down. All right? So the next step would be, you can shut everything down. Um, if you shot a lot of purple K, you have to check your tank. All right? And in order to do that, you're gonna have to um, turn off your, your bottle. Okay, at this point, everything that we just did the nitrogen bottle has been on, all right? The nitrogen bottle has been on. Even if you shoot a little bit of Purple K on the scene or training training exercise or whatever, 
and you say, oh, my, my tank is good, and I still got like, you know, 2200 uh, PSI on my nitrogen bottle, when you come do the blowdown, you're gonna use all that up, and it's gonna drop below 1750, and that's when we need to change it. So, so at this point, the truck has been blown down, so my next step would be, is to go turn off my um, nitrogen bottle. But, what if I need to put uh, Purple K back into my tank? So, and you know you shot a lot of Purple K, so you know you're gonna have to replenish the Purple K. So this is your next step would be, go turn off your nitrogen bottle, which we'll go show over here so everybody can get the visuals. side of the truck right here turn off your nitrogen bottle all right turn off your nitrogen bottle right here all right turn that it's gonna be off then we'll go back on the other side now I need to get um, purple K into my tank right here my vessel right here so you know this is a 500 um, pound tank but we hold we put in here 450 pounds of uh, dry powder right so to get that cap off, usually that gauge will read pressure. If it says zero pressure, then you can go ahead and pop the cap with a rubber mallet up top, all right? But nine times out of 10, it will be reading it has pressure on it. So you need to get that pressure off before you try to pop that cap. So in order to do that, this is the procedure you need to do. First thing you're gonna do is this right here. You're gonna open, you're gonna discharge valve. It says normally open. You're gonna go ahead and turn it back from closed to open. All right? So now it's back in the normal position. Put your pan back in and you're good, all right? So now my purge valve is still open. My dry chemical valve is still closed, okay? The only thing I opened back up was my charge valve. Take note, I turned my bottle off. So I need to get the pressure out this gauge. Uh, out of the tank. So to do that, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my hand line right here. All right, I'm gonna crack. Until you start seeing, I want you to go very, very slow. Do not open this fast. If you open it too fast, you will cause um, dry powder to be to come out from the tank. And you don't want to breathe that stuff in. So I want to open you to open this very, very slow so you start seeing the pressure drop on the gauge. And you, you're not going to open it all the way up. All right, you're going to start cracking it slowly. Once you see it starts dropping, you can just let it hang here and let it just hiss out. All right, it'll take anywhere from five to 10 minutes, maybe. It depends on how much pressure you have in the, in the vessel. All right, so that's how you get the pressure off the tank. Once that reads zero, you can come here and close this down. You drop out and put your, put your nozzle back up. All right. So the next step will be I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset something. So my purge valve right here is normally closed. I'm gonna go ahead and close it now. All right. I got all the pressure off the line, so it's closed. I'm gonna put it back in this normal position. So now, now I can get somebody to go up top Pop the door up and pop the cap off and refill it, the purple K, all right? And it's supposed to be, if I'm not mistaken, two to five, eight inches from the top, all right? So when you refill your purple K, when you do dry powder in your tank, all right? So now, after that's done, you refill your purple K, you put the top back on it. Your next step is to uh, go ahead and change your uh, nitrogen bottle, all right? It's already off, so you got one in the station, Exchange your bottle, all right? Put a new bottle on there. Once you have put the new bottle on and you turn the bottle on, the last step you do in this process to get back in service is to come over here and turn your dry chemical valve back to open, all right? This is the last thing you do after you replace your bottle. You got a new bottle, you go ahead and turn the bottle on and then you come over here, you're gonna turn this back into the normally open position and then put your pin in. All right, once you have done that, <clears throat> you're back in service. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just that simple, 
sounds like a lot, but once you do it a couple of times or you watch the video, kind of walk through it in your head, it's really not a lot. So once again, I'm Sergeant Peoples. This is the Atlanta Fire Department. Talking about um, the blow down procedure on a Rosenbauer um, six by six Panther. Thank you for coming out. God bless, good night. <laughs>